Here we have a very nice 2004 BMW 645 CI automatic convertible in silver grey. Starting with the offside front tyre. Tread depth there, looks like a fairly new tyre, you've easily got a good 6mm of tread there, so plenty of tread on the offside front tyre. Offside front alloys, you can see a bit of a curb mark on the outside there, looking around the rest of the alloys, looking pretty clean so far, and again a bit of a scuff mark on the outside edge there, so a bit of a, a small refurb required. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, taking a good look down here, I could not see any dinks or dent at all down there, so that's in nice condition. Around the offside front tire, it's just one or two light scratches will require a little bit of a polish. Looking on your driver's mirror there, as you can see a bit of lack of peel on the outside here, a bit of a scuff mark, might need a bit of touching the paint there, and again, we've got some lack of peel on the driver's mirror, so just be wary of that. Driver's door itself, um, looks like it's had a little bit of paint on the driver's door here. Uh, I could be wrong, I'm just gauging from the reflection, to be honest. If it has been done, it's a pretty good job. Um, again, just one or two light scratches on the driver's door, just require polish, maybe a couple of touchings to little various places as well, like the door edges, etc. Apart from that, it's looking good for its age. Uh, obviously, you've got a soft top. Um, from the driver's side, it does look really nice. No signs of any damage. Looking on at the rear arch and rear quarter, again, we've got some light scratches around here. Rear quarter looks perfectly fine though, no signs of any damage or anything at all to report there. And the rear tyre, you're looking at about two to three mils, so not half as good as the front. And then looking on at the rear alloy, taking a good look at the condition here. A little bit of pitting inside some of these spokes here, but no sign of any curbing at all to that alloy. And then moving towards the rear end of the vehicle. On the rear bumper, I've got rear parking sensors. A couple of scratches on the back here will need a bit of a mop and polish, but apart from that, again, no signs of any damage. There's a slight scuff mark on the near side rear quarter here that will require a little bit of paint. But apart from that, it's looking in good order. There is actually a very heavy scratch um, in the middle of the boot lid here. It quite clearly stands out, and that is very deep, as you can probably see from the video. So that's definitely require some work there. It needs flattening and painting. Um, just to be noted as well, you can't actually get inside the boot. Um, not sure what that is, um, but you can't actually get inside the boot. So I've actually managed to get inside the boot. You do have to open it off the key though. Uh, the, the boot release doesn't work. You do have to insert the key to unlock the boot there. Um, there is issues with the roof. The roof is not working. Um, as you can see, the tray is down. Um, so it's something to do with the actual mechanism. Also, I'll show you a bit later on in the video what I mean by that, but um, as you can see, everything is in order in the boot. Near side rear tire, again, you look at about two to three mil, so not a great deal there. And looking on at the rear alloys, you can see a couple of little marks here on the actual alloy itself. Uh, looking around though, again, some minor little scuff marks there. Apart from that, no signs of any heavy curb into that alloy. Looking down the near side of the vehicle, and from this angle, I can't see any dinks or dents. Passenger door looks like it's had a bit of paint previously. Um, from this angle, anyway, it looks like that. Again, not a bad job if it has been done. Uh, a bit of a scuff mark around the rear arch, that's definitely required some paintwork there. Uh, door edge is fine. Again, just one or two lighter scratches on the front passenger door need a bit of polish. Um, same with the mirror there as well. Front arch is in nice condition. Again, just a couple of stone chips as we get closer to the front end of the vehicle. And again, good six mil on the front tyres, which is just the rear tyres. Front alloys, you can see a little bit of curbing around the, uh, the front of the alloy here. So a definite refurb will be in order on that alloy. We ran to front, you got your headlight wash there, you've got ZN headlights, uh, front parking sensors. Of course, just around the front, uh, we've got a couple of marks here from lacquer peel, um, as well as a couple of stone chips around the front end. A little bit wearing on the badge, again, nothing serious, but there's no signs of any damage to the front bumper there. Looking at your driver's seat, you've got the full uh, cream Dakota leather. A little bit of wearing there on the bolster. I've got electric memory seats, so it just needs a really good valet inside. You can see on the door panels, etc. Front passenger seat, again, just a slight bit of wearing to leather, uh, but nice condition overall. Uh, back seats, again, look very well. No signs of any damage there. Again, just a slight bit of wearing to leather. Um, Sense console, everything is totally fine. Uh, and same with the steering wheel as well. Your automatic headlights, etc. Inside the car, it's one key, so only one key. Starting the vehicle. As you can see, there's no issue at all starting the car, it starts perfectly fine. Service light is on, um, as you can see the roof is not working, it does flash there. The windows will come down, um, but it doesn't actually work unfortunately, I think it's due to the, the mechanism here. Uh, you can see there's a restraint system on there as well, but apart from that, everything's working fine.